memories. Support our fight to protect yours. Hello, I'm Jackie Stewart, and I'm here again for a wonderful edition of Memories. And we're particularly proud today uh, to have somebody very special. Her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal, is joining us for Memories, because fortunately for me, we've known each other for quite a long time. It all started, I suppose, ma'am, when uh, we met. You had won the Daily Express Sports Woman of the Year, and I had won the Daily Express uh, Driver of the Year. And we, we were at the Savoy Hotel, and I'll never forget, before that, I was told that I, um, I had to do a photograph session, and I said, I don't have the time. I'm running too late. You've got to do it. And I finally went into this little place that they had told me to go to, and this photographer was this, and I said, look, I'm in a big hurry. I can't be any more than about five minutes to do this. And this turned out to be one of the greatest photographers in the world called Karsh. <laughs> and I behaved, yeah, like yes. a, I behaved like a complete idiot <laughs> in front of this genius. And I said, no, I've got to go. <laughs> and it was the same man, by the way, who took that great picture of Churchill. You know, when mm -hmm. he asked Churchill to take his cigar out of his mouth and Churchill wouldn't do it, and he just got the camera ready and he pulled the cigarette out of Churchill's mouth. And there was that terrific, horrific look that he gave him. And that was a cash as well. <laughs> I mean, I knew, I knew his name because of the photographs he took of the Queen. And, and sadly, he's no longer with us. No. No, but uh, no. Jackie, this was a long time ago. It's a minor miracle. We're still here. <laughs> well, uh, well, we are. We're still alive. Well, you, I mean, your sport was considerably more dangerous than mine in any case. <laughs> well, um, I think yours, is, yours has got safer as a result of you. I'm not well, sure about mine. <laughs> yours is still dangerous. That is the problem. <laughs> um, that day, I, I remember it was such a big day for me. Um, and we sat together, mm. unlike normally you know, the two people are mm. away, you know, in each side of the mm. chairman or something. And I remember saying to you, 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 you referred to the fact you'd been in a bit of a rush. And I said, well, what was the big rush? He said, well, I was cleaning out the stables. <laughs> and I thought, for God's sake, the Princess Royal's cleaning out the stables. I don't really think that was appropriate. And I, mm. I was, of course, my, my rush was because of Karsh, but... All the time you've been in your equestrian world, you've been hands-on and everything, haven't you? Well, we were brought up that way, that, uh, you, you know, the, if you had ponies and horses, if you rode, you had to understand about them and what they needed. And they were the you know, first thing you did and the last thing you did um, was to look after them. I so said we, we were always brought up that way. My mother was always very keen that we should do all those things not just to have a pony tacked up and ready to go, and then you got off and left it at the end. So yes, we, we were brought up to do the whole job. <laughs> it was at that occasion, we started to talk about my sport too. Mm. I remember I invited you to come up to Silverson at some time when you wished to do so. Um, and in fact, I remember um, I came to Windsor, I think it was, to, to drive you up. And when you got there, uh, you came in and said, uh, who's driving? And I said, well, I'll be driving, ma'am. Oh, you were rather disappointed. And that hasn't changed, if I may say so. <laughs> I mean, you, you drive more than any other lady I know. Oh, yeah, well, I suppose that, that may be true. I mean, I still drive. I don't drive as much as I did. But no, and I suspect we all, didn't we talk about go-karts as well? Because that's how... That's how we started on go karts. Oh yes, and then, and then graduated to to old fashioned Land Rovers. So that's how we started driving. But I, I remember well, um, you know, days together doing different things, mm -hmm. and you were always keen to be behind the wheel. That was that was for sure. And you drove that day. You drove well. You sat in the Tyrrell. There's a wonderful photograph. You maybe have seen it at home when you've been at Clayton yeah. House. Mm -hmm. And a lovely man called Walter Hayes at Ford. Yes. Got it. Got this photographer said, I've got the fantastic picture and I'm going to sell it everywhere. And Walter said, No, 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 you can't do that because nobody, it seemed to be at that time, knew you from Buckingham Palace downwards that you would have been at Silverson driving racing cars. So 
uh, we managed, he managed to get it stopped. But I think it's one of the nicest photographs that I've got at home. Uh, because well, you, had, you enjoyed yourself. It was, it was very clear. And, yeah, well, uh, it was, you, you took us round first and then you let us loose on those. Um, and I seem to remember we managed to do that without causing too much. <laughs> yeah, I came out, I went out with you to begin with in a, a very hot uh, touring car, British touring car championship car. And I said, look, I'll drive you around. And I went, did that. And then I handed it over to you. And I was in the passenger seat. And I said, well, I was giving you a bit of a, a heads up. And, you know, racetracks are very wide. And it's not like telegraph poles and other things. You can see what speed you're entering, corners and where you... And, of course, you didn't need to be told all that. But I finally got out the car. And off you went. And we could hardly get you out the car. After that, God knows how many laps you did. <laughs> I'll take your word for that. I was <laughs> I, not being the world's best passenger. I was only really good in the car driving. I mean, I just didn't feel well being driven. So yeah. that's my excuse. I was never a good passenger, just for the way I felt, not because of the, the quality of the driver. Honest. <laughs> well, I mean. That these days are past for me. I, I, I sit in the passenger seat quite happily as a match by. Um, Gatko, that mm. was uh, always great to see because when you were first married, you went to Gatcom Park. It was a lovely house and we start, you started a shoot there and we used to do a bit of shooting there. Uh, and that was a, a lovely period, even before the horse trial started. Mm. Um, and the, it was it's a wonderful land, yeah. the topography of it is wonderful. And I met somebody there who you remember well and we had great fun with was, was Trevor Banks. Uh, and he, he, of course, knew you well because of horses and because of, you know, his business was, in fact, selling horses to a and very large extent. Yeah, was... But what a character. Yeah, I mean, he he came directly as a result of his link through my trainer, then Alison Oliver, and a horse that went to him uh, from Alison Dawes. So it, the horse was the connection, um, but yours and my connection was, mine was the horse, yours was driving championships, but the link with him was shooting. Yeah. And he, he had always been involved in shooting and had his own shoot up in Yorkshire. And uh, we, so we continued the, that sort of friendship through horses and into shooting. And that's how you met him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. No, it's absolutely right. Because, and, and he was a very good shot too. Uh, he, was, and of course, he, he was part of the menial task division when, when the horse trials began. Well, I don't think Trevor ever sank to those levels. <laughs> I thought it well, was... I, it was he you had more and a, one or two others. <laughs> he, had a, he had a slight uh, superior uh, presence, <laughs> let's put it that way. We did all the work, but what a group of people that was. Uh, it was good fun because in those days, there was, we were still learning the ropes, literally. And uh, we were told, I seem to remember, that we had to um, string off all the local roads to stop people parking along the roads and blocking them. And so we, off we were sent with the string and the, and the, and the sticks. I seem to remember you sat in the car telling us what to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I always remember that you seemed to be quite upset that I was the president of the <laughs> yeah, yeah. division. Yes, especially as you spent most of the time thinking, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but you, you also, I mean, that turned out to be a huge event and it's still a very strong event. Oh, it's still a, yes. I mean, it's grown in some respects because it covers all the, all the championships now from novice upwards. Uh, and it's been a very, it's a very different track. It's a very challenging track and it has remained a championship course, uh, which has, you know, has grown, made it more difficult in some ways, but it has, it's popular with the riders and it, and it, I think is an appropriate championship course. And at that time, of course, Mark was designing the course too, as he did in many other courses, in fact, around the world. Well, he started off the process and he, and, and it was that, his experience with here at Gatcombe that led him to go on to design elsewhere and became one of the most sort of popular and sought after. But he still designs here. So, I mean, you know, uh, Peter now runs it as a part of his, 
his role is to run it, but uh, Mark still does course design. I remember well uh, one of my trips to Gatcombe and Trevor was there uh, with your good self and Trevor said, oh, you're, you're all right with these fancy cars. What about one horse fur? And remember the indoor school that you had, you had me in the back of that horse. What, it, what was his name? It was that famous one. But I think you were on Goodwill. Goodwill, exactly. Which was about 17 hands <laughs> high or something. Yeah. It, it felt like 100 <laughs> hands high. And I'll well, never you... forget it. And, and, mm. and of course, I thought, and it was a very gentle trip trot for a wee while. And then Trevor Banks whistled and the damn thing started to go faster. And I just didn't know what to do. I, and the other thing, <laughs> ma'am, if I may say, I wasn't dressed for the occasion either. It, it does help if you're dressed for the occasion. <laughs> and, and when I got off, I was a very painful boy. That's all <laughs> I can say. <laughs> but if you, if you remember, you also had to sit on his, um, his Olympic show jumper hideaway. Yes, I did too. But he was way bigger than uh, Goodwill. He was, he was, that, you looked like a piano drum on him. It was absolutely <laughs> staggering. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I am, I am a man of average height, <laughs> Mel. <laughs> no, Hideaway um, made everybody look like that. <laughs> yeah. The other great thing that we've, we've shared in, in respect to things like that was that Glen Eagles for the, mm. the celebrity events that we had. And, you know, I've got a list here somewhere of the people who were there and the, one of the last ones. Of course, it was your good self there. We had... Well, the King of Greece was there as well, but we had half of the royal family, actually, because there was a, a royal team. Yeah, there and was. Then, and then there was a team uh, of sportsmen and a team of... And then there was the, the rich and bossy. That was another team. <laughs> and they were all sponsored. But I mean, I'm looking at this now. Harrison Ford, mm. Steven Spielberg, Barry Gibbs, Sean Connery, Rod Laver, Wayne Gretzky, the great yeah. uh, ice champion of yeah. uh, Willie okay. Carson, <laughs> uh, Kiri Takanawa, and, and can you imagine the Dame Kiri Takanawa? Nobody expected an opera singer to be shooting clay pigeons, and she had never shot before. No, that's right. And we get, I, she came up a day earlier, and I gave her a few lessons shooting. She won the mm. ladies. Best. best shot, didn't she? Well, and, and she good foundations. She's gone on to thoroughly enjoy her shooting, hasn't she? And she is a, oh, she's a really good shot. Mm. Oh, she's a grand shot. They were very good events, and you raised an awful lot of money for various things. That was hugely yeah, we did. successful. All, 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 all for charity. I mean, it was, set some uh, set some standards in fundraising. I can tell you. One of the things was that when Steven Spielberg came along, he was surrounded by security. You know, because it's, it's American. Um, and of course, everybody else, and there was a lot of royal well, family people there, of course, nobody recognized they had security. It was very discreet that they were there. And he's, and I go to speak to him, and I'm saying how very pleased I am that he's coming to the event. And he starts looking over my shoulder, and I'm thinking, what have I done to deserve this? And, and suddenly he says, excuse me, but that looks like King Hussein of Jordan over there. And I said, yes, that's who it is. <gasps> We've been trying to get permission to go to Petra to do this film that he was doing with, with Sean and, uh, and Steven Spielberg and Harrison Ford. They were all together on it. And they couldn't get permission. And I said, well, you, maybe you should speak to his, his majesty. So I got them together. Bingo. He got his he got his permission, so he was a very happy chappy. So that that was no, that was a, a great time. Um, Not a bad place to be, actually. Another great thing, Zara and Peter, of course, mm. and and you very kindly asked Helen to be godmother for for Zara, and she's grown up to be a remarkable equestrian. Mm. Um, you must have been a very very proud mother when she won the world championship, apart from anything else. I mean, uh, you won big events uh, and, and were the only member of the royal family at that time to have ever won a, a, a global event, an international event in equestrians. And Zara, obviously, 
followed between Mark and you, the genes were there. Yes, I mean, it, it's never easy, is it, to follow on um, if your parents have been successful in a sport. And I've of, I often wondered whether, in fact, she really, you know, that was something she really wanted to do. But she was naturally talented and, and she a- applied herself because natural talent doesn't work on its own. But you also have to find the right horse at the right time. And, and they, she managed to do that as well. So that was uh, Tori Tyne and her did an amazing job at both the World and European Championships. And that's uh, pretty impressive going for a single horse. Although sadly, he missed out both opportunities to go to the Olympics. That particular horse. So yeah. she went to the Olympics on a completely different horse. I think the great advantage of having Helen as a godmother was that she had such style. Uh, and, you know, she was a, her, all her mannerisms, she was so well contained and very professional. To, and let's face it, looking after you, racing, you know, she did a real application to the role. But her as a personality and her presentation and her style, and I rather hope that some of that would run up, rub off on Zara. And I hope you think it has, because <laughs> oh, I do. <laughs> Zara's that, that that wonderful. I mean, uh, Helen, of course, loves Zara, still does. And of course, we see her from time to time, yep. uh, quite often, in fact. But, uh, you know, for Helen, it's a tough time, as you're aware. Mm. I mean, she's got dementia and uh, it's, um, she's here it's hard. today, but not right All with right. us in the room. Mm. But, you know, the, one in three people in the world now will die of dementia. Mm. And there's more people die of dementia than any other illness. And that, this little badge up here mm. is Race Against Dementia, which I started a few years ago. And it's uh, quite interesting. We, we, we're using sport uh, for young PhDs because mm-hmm. in sport, you, you're desperate to win. Uh, and nobody remembers who's second. Uh, and in motorsport, you know, the, the speed of change is faster than almost anything I know. So we're using that for these young people, these new PhDs that we've got. But anyway, Helen sends her love, by the way. Uh, she knows that we're doing this and she, she'll be very pleased to see it when it comes out. I mean, it's always yeah. lovely to talk to her about the things that she does remember, which of course is much earlier in her life, which are really fascinating stages of when she was young, growing up, when her first involvement in the sports. And uh, my, I think all the youngsters find that particularly interesting. Nowadays, ma'am, you're still doing as many uh, engagements probably as you ever have done. Is that still correct? Um, well, I think I, I would say I'm trying not to, but that's... <laughs> and just recently, of course, it's all, it's all changed. So we'd be, goodness knows whether we'd be doing many more of these sorts of things in the future. But... What I enjoy is meeting people and seeing the places that they function in. So it would be a pity not to be able to stay, still go on getting out and about and reaching some of the, the lesser known parts of the United Kingdom and elsewhere. One of the big moments of your life must have been handing over that silver medal to, to Zara at, the, at the, the Olympics because you are deeply involved in the Olympics and have been for a great length of time. Well, I've been a member since 88, but I was also president of the International Equestrian Federation um, for eight years. So, yes, I mean, it was a, it should have been uh, my, the, the president of the FEI who did that, but she insisted, Princess Hyatt, that I do, which is really nice of her because actually that was her sort of perk of being uh, the FEI president. But it was unusual. It's, it was a home games and uh, the British team had done in- incredibly well. So yeah, it was a treat. Yeah. Mom, you've been very gracious to join uh, memories and, and we've shared a lot of memories. Yeah, and that's what we've done this little while that we've, we've had together here. A very big thank you for me, Mom. Uh, for joining uh, Memories and uh, I I know we've both enjoyed a lot of memories together. We have indeed and thank you Jackie for asking me but as you're only too well aware this could have gone on for hours Um, (laughs) (laughs) so well done on stopping it in time (laughs) anyway all the best and to you and to Helen Helen